Absolutely. And it's because we're the same audience, you know, who's going to come to my things is going to come to you, your things. So we have um, the devolution has teamed up. Actually, my coaching company, Strength From Within Training, has teamed up with two other women, and we're having a retreat on the last weekend in April here in Bay City at a very charming bed and breakfast. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's online now. It's called Soul Power Retreat. Please check that out. It's going to be full of yoga, journaling. It's a self-discovery kind of three days. It starts Friday night and Sunday afternoon. It's going to be phenomenal. And the women that, you know, like Brittany, like you were talking, how some people just come into your life. Well, I hadn't, I didn't do any events in 2017, mm-hmm. and I usually do two a year. But it just was too much. It mm-hmm. was, I just didn't feel up. And so this year, I was trying to decide what to do, and these women found me. Nice. Wow. So it just worked mm-hmm. out great. I'm real excited about. It. So find that on Facebook. We also have a website. It's called Soul Power Retreat. Last weekend in April, and um, Sandy's etching wine glasses right now. Sandblasting. Sandblasting. Etching. Ooh. Yes, not just the regular, not just the um, acid. We're, we're going high class here. <laughs> um, so that's coming up. This weekend, we don't have a lot going on down here this weekend. Uh, Law of Attraction 101, and then our last meeting of the group before that. And then next week, we start our five-week intensive Law of Attraction class. And that is really fun. Um, Also, well, I'll tell you about that next week. We're making bracelets again. We had so much fun this past weekend. We did a a painting party, and we had a couple glasses of wine, and we just, we had a blast. We laughed and just carried on. You girls do have a lot of fun. I'm telling you, we had, and it was all new people. And we had so much fun. And then on Saturday, we made um, crystal bracelets with uh, lava rocks. And then we did an essential oil blend for each of the women, whatever they needed that went with those crystals. You know, the reason why they picked those. And that went really well. And I just had the most wonderful weekend. I love, I just love it. I love my work. really fun. Yes. It's splendid. So that's heart-centered right there. You're it just is. constantly loving what you're doing. Yes. And it doesn't feel like, I feel like I'm playing with my friends, you know? <laughs> well, it, you are. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's fun. So, and we meet a lot of good people. A lady walked in the other day that wanted to do vision boards. I had a lady walk, a young woman walk in today looking for someone to help her mother who is going through a divorce and she has having health problems. So, I mean, I, it's. You're attracting yeah, it. Yeah. So it's really cool. I love it. Um, and I, I just, I am so happy that we are doing more things together because that's a good example of heart-centered female-owned businesses working together and promoting each other without, there's no competition here. Nope. There's plenty of room for all of us. That's right. right. Yeah. And we can even share resources, even though, you know, we have said we wish we were a little bit closer. Right. Geographically, it was a 40-minute scoot up here yeah so that's not it was fun it's an opportunity to to share with Britt on the Mm -hmm. way up Mm -hmm. and an evening out and um easy enough to do right and in the summertime it's even more fun I can only imagine yeah it's really fun wow so we'll have to plan that you guys coming up again in the summer definitely okay are you going to answer my question now? Uh, What was the question again? (laughs) Do you remember what the question was? It was a loaded question it was like uh, where do we want to see women? Um, Ideally, in the, future, in the future, how do you see us coming together, and what would be the most important things? Okay, um, I could answer first, just so she can Go ahead. have a little more time to think. Um, she rolled her eyes at me. I don't, yeah. <laughs> no way. Her answer is going to be better than mine. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> just different, not better. It's going to be different for sure. Um, but I would like to see uh, women. Again, I, w- I would like to see a diverse collaboration and involvement and commitment to one another. Um, just being from Flint, an inner city, um, you know, th- my community is 90% black. So, you know, there are other people in my community 
who need to know people outside of the community. There are people who have different resources, different gifts. Um, so I would like to see, um, I would like to see women diversify among one another and, you know, so that we don't classify our communities as being white mm-hmm. or classify our community as being black. When you hear Flint, you think black, you hear somewhere else you think white, you know, we, we can just say, um, you know, we can, we can just, re- we can just take uh color off of, communities and, and, and just say hey these the, there's a group of women from michigan who like to um meet every so often mm-hmm. and do this or do that but um for me is it, the, the main thing is uh diversity i love it yep that's really important to me as well so i that was a very very good answer thank you very good and i would just like to add to that that's um again in my heart is to shine a light more on the things that we have in common and so many of the prejudices and the hate in this world, Mm -hmm. I believe, are are stemming from fear. Mm -hmm. And that fear is because it's something different than what you've been exposed to. Mm -hmm. We have more things in common at the heart of it. Us women all care about our families. We want, you know, our our livelihood, our homes. We want to know that our children are safe. We want to know that when we go to work that our kids are going to come back. Right. Um, you know, it's it's that it takes a village to raise a child. And I think for most of us women, um, every, every aspect, we're affecting everything to do with a family. And again, it goes back to 85% of the buying decisions are affected by women mm-hmm. and the choices for our families. So I think it's very important for women to stand up, have a voice, mm-hmm. and show, um, be the leaders in their families first. Sorry. And that will um, carry out into the world. Right. I love that so much. And it's not, it's, it's all women. It's, age shouldn't matter. You know, exactly. there's so many things that older women can help younger women with and you, the generations before this like a lot of moms didn't work now that's not true this generation are we did work and we can help you and i think a lot of times we poo poo women um older women and uh no matter what color they are we think oh they don't know they don't know right. but they do they, they just do don't know. say. And we did. <laughs> we came up in a time in our careers that, um, you know, I don't have the filter that I had 20 <laughs> years ago. Let's just say that. Um, you did things a little bit differently. And I think I've grown into that confidence. And that is something that um, our young girls are coming out of the box with. Right. But it's because of us it raising is. them that way. And it's just going to get better and better. And that's why, as moms, our roles are the most important. So think of think of a future with all heart centered businesses mm-hmm. that people that you do business with, you know, like and trust all of them. And referral business is the best business because somebody's talking about how wonderful you are and what a good job you do, and so you don't even hardly have to introduce yourself. And that's the community that I want to foster and grow. That all of us trust each other and. Nothing matters. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. Your political stuff doesn't matter because we don't talk about that. We talk about us and our relationships, and that's mm-hmm. the most important thing. And mm-hmm. we accept each other totally. We do. Mm-hmm. So good. So Women to Women magazine uh, coming up with a new issue, and I really thank you guys for coming up here. In closing, is there anything that you would like to say, Deb Collins? Um, just keep paying attention to what we're doing. Join us if you um, are so inclined. There's never um, not enough to be able to share. If you're looking for new opportunities, um, reach out to either one of us, Debs, because <laughs> um, I'm sure one of us could point you in the right direction and... Um, we don't have a lock on all the brains. Right. There's a lot of creating to do. Right. And a lot of women to touch um, with our stories and our life experiences. Excellent. What about you? Do you have anything closing, Brittany? Yes. Make sure you like our Facebook page. It's Women to Women Michigan on Facebook. 
Um, and all, all it takes is just one second to hit that like button and you can stay updated with our events and um, different endeavors that we will be doing in different projects. Um, so, yeah, Women to Women Michigan, and you'll see um, our logo on there. And just make sure you hit that like button, hit that share button. Feel free to send us a message, hashtag, anything, you know, um, Follow us on social media. So. I love it. Yes. And um, make sure that you watch for their show coming up the yes. 14th and the 28th of yes. March. And it'll always be the second and fourth Wednesday of mm-hmm. every month. That's right. And um, I really look forward to it. I think it's going to be it's great be fun. fun. And thank you again. So in closing, um, we haven't said our devolutionary oak. Ladies, would you like to come up and stand yes. by that microphone? For a long time, and Brittany, since it was your first time here, I thought it only appropriate that we do the devolutionary oath with you because then you're officially a diva. Yeah, oh, well, listen. (laughs) I'm excited. (laughs) Okay, Sandy is getting her glasses on. You mean you don't have it memorized? (laughs) You (laughs) girls should know this by now. (laughs) Okay, you ready? I promise to help any divas in despair to do my best to have good hair, to never gossip, lie, or cheat, to limit my intake of red meat, to bitch less and smile much more, toast to my friends and strengthen my core. Don't you have one? I pledge to nurture myself and others, to stay true, to stand tall, to know who I am and what I believe. To laugh laugh without without control, control, love without without limit, support support without without judgment, mentor without without jealousy, and and live without without regret. To be genuine and drink red wine. I I will do my best to amuse others, not to be rude and eat whole food. I do this for myself, my family, my sisters, and the common good of divahood. Miss Jepper St. <laughs> I love this. Uh, listen, oh, I, I, I think I you. messed up because I, I, I eat red meat. So I. <laughs> Why, we, no, that's okay. Just not a whole lot. Okay, okay. That's okay. Say, I, I think I, I eat red meat as well. Yeah, I was say I uh, kicked out of the group. <laughs> no. No. Not just for that. No, now, if we can appreciate those, our differences. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you just want to strive for some yeah, of this. Yeah, right? I, just, I just want to get my protein in. I right. think we need to put this on. Um, our website. Our website, yeah. Oh, really? Maybe in the magazine. I cool. love it. How fun is that? It's cool. Cool. Thank you very much. That's good. With, Thank you. With Deb's picture. Yeah. Oh, I have a new picture, too. I'll show you. Oh. So um, I guess that's it. So until next week, be real. Stay, stay true. true. <laughs> know who you are and, and what, what you, you believe. Because you, you are the devolution. devolution. Good night. Stay good true. night. The Devolution Show is a W4 Divas production hosted by Deb St. Hilaire and produced by Josh Sherrill. All rights reserved.